Ron DeSantis signed legislation today that extends the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Safety Commission, which was created following that deadly mass shooting in 2018 in Parkland. As ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone reports, the law also enhances safety in Florida schools. Back. Matthew McConaughey, an actor and native of Uvalde, Texas, met with lawmakers Tuesday to discuss gun reform legislation. He delivered remarks at the White House press briefing. Last month, 21 people in his hometown, including 19 children, were killed in a mass shooting at an elementary school. Can both sides rise above? Can both sides see beyond the political problem at hand and admit that we have a life preservation problem on our hands. Here in Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 1421 into law, which takes several measures to improve school safety in Florida. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri is the chairman of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Commission. The group is making recommendations to improve safety in schools following the February 2018 mass shooting in Parkland. We had a very robust school safety bill in 2018, another one in 19. We did have a dedicated bill in 20 or 21 due to a variety of things including COVID and so there's a lot of things that needed to be uh, done uh, to fully implement the commission's recommendations. House Bill 1421 authorizes the Commissioner of Education to enforce rather than oversee school safety and school compliance. The law authorizes safe school officers to make arrests on charter school property. It also requires law enforcement officers to be present and involved in active assailant emergency drills. It would also require school districts districts to adopt family reunification plans. We also hear people complain about, oh, this bad thing happened and the dots weren't connected. Nobody connects the dots. Well, who's going to connect the dots? That's threat management. So we need to make sure that threat management is being done again consistently and robustly across Florida, and it's not. Governor DeSantis says every child needs a safe and secure learning environment. In the Freedom First budget, he also approved $140 million for mental health and $210 million for school safety. Julie Salamone, ABC Action News.